think trying to throw your arms around the world was kind of based on a period where they were kind of hanging out in Los Angeles three or four years before Act Tongue Baby was, was, was released. And uh, again, they, they kind of started trawling the kind of underbelly of the city and going to these kind of strange clubs and stuff like that. And uh, this is what happens at kind of five or six in the morning where they, they hold themselves back kind of thing. And possibly also a comment on his former job as a kind of a stadium rocker. You know, this, the, the, the man who embraced everyone and always wanted to be loved. And this is a kind of another side of it, really, the, the kind of the, the bleary eyed kind of uh, after effect. The title, Trying to Throw Your Arms Around the World, I think is possibly Bono mocking himself very slightly. Uh, and certainly in terms of the activism he's pursued in the 15 years since that, that album uh, was released, it, it could be a tempting title for a, a future biography, I suspect. U2 uses uh, the moon as a metaphor for woman throughout this album. Woman is the person for them that reflects the light of the sun. Uh, it's a much softer light. It's, uh, uh, it beautifies things. It's cooler. It doesn't have the sort of glaring, destructive power that the sun sometimes has. And uh, the woman as a light that, that leads us to God is another way of talking about this, this idea of romantic love as, as providing redemptive power. And I see ultraviolet as, as, as continuing a lot of that same sort of imagery and metaphor. Uh, your love was a light bulb hanging over my bed. Uh, the woman is this light which pulls him out of the depths of despair uh, when the direct presence of the sun would have been too much, would have destroyed and, and, uh, and overwhelmed him. So I, I think it's really quite a, a beautiful uh, song. Uh, it also. Uh, it has a very nice line for capturing this, this transition from Joshua Tree, from the sort of moral purity, moral absolutism of the Joshua Tree, to uh, the sentiment you get on Octung Baby. Um, it says, there was a time when we could sleep on stones. Now we lie together in whispers and moans. And, and there it's clearly alluding to uh, the Im imagery from the Bible, uh, you know, sleeping on stones, moral purity, uh, that puts us in touch with, with God. Now uh, they've moved away from that into a, a much more uh, worldly sort of love. But I think which, which um, in the end allows them to realize the kind of promise of, of happiness and eternity that they were looking for on earlier albums. The lyric, which I know got quoted back at him quite a lot, but I suspect he knew that was going to happen, is the line that, you know, I'd join the movement if there was one I could believe in, and I'd take bread and wine if there was a church I could receive in. Um, which, from somebody who had been so known for his, you know, implacable piety, was, was an act of, you know, absolutely fabulous heresy. The idea is quite common that Actung Baby was you two basically trying to get some decent reviews again and trying to be cool and trying to acquire a certain amount of credibility. Um, I think a lot of that tended to come from actual rock critics who like to think of themselves as slightly more powerful and influential than they actually are. Um, I have no doubt at all that some of the criticism um, made of you two on Round, Rattle and Hum stung, but as is always the case, the criticism that stings people is always the stuff that's actually true. Uh, I don't think they needed to be told. I think they recognised it in themselves. Um, yes, the record's calculated. They went away and decided, we want to do something different. We don't want to sound like we have done any more. Uh, but to some extent or other, you know, any record is calculated. And I think it's a much, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an indication of a much, much more creatively healthy band that they make a record which is a reaction to the last one rather than just an extension of it. Great works of art are always calculated. They're, they're always very carefully thought through. Um, they're always pushing in a new direction, trying to, to lead us to understand things in a new way, to break through banalized, leveled down modes of communication. And, and connect uh, with the listener in a new way by exploding expectations and, and so on. And, and that has to be calculated sometimes. That has to be 
worked out and and and, and uh, very painstakingly assembled and put together. And and so I, I don't see that as a valid criticism of the album. I mean, the idea that you know you just make a great record because you have this burning creativity inside you. I mean, you know. 10, 11 years into their career, it doesn't work like that. You do need to constantly reinvent yourself. Uh, and to do that, you need to think deeply about what you're doing, and you can call that calculated, but it was a calculation that, uh, that worked to supremely fine effect.